Four thousand essential English words. Book three. Paul Nation. Unit one. Word list. Arise. To arise is to happen. Difficulties arose with his computer because it was old. Benefactor. A benefactor is a person who gives money to help someone. The student's benefactor gave him money to spend on his studies. Blacksmith. A blacksmith is a person who makes things out of metal. The blacksmith pounded the piece of metal until it was flat. Charitable. When someone is charitable, they help people who are in need. My sister was charitable enough to help me buy my first house. Chimney. A chimney is a tall pipe used to carry smoke out of a building. The cat was on the roof, sitting next to the chimney. Compensate. To compensate is to pay someone for the time they spent doing something. Her boss compensated her for the extra work she did last week. Encounter. If you encounter something, you meet or come close to it. I encountered a sea turtle while I was swimming. Exceed. To exceed is to be more than something. Since I exceeded my limit, I decided to get rid of my credit cards. Forge. To forge is to make or produce, especially with difficulty. Stacy and Heather forged their friendship when they were teenagers. Humble. People who are humble do not believe that they are better than other people. Even though Bob is the smartest boy in his class, he is humble. Iron. Iron is a strong metal that is used to make many objects. The horse had shoes made of iron. Ladder. A ladder is an object that is used to climb up and down things. He used a ladder to climb to the top of his treehouse. Modest. If people are modest, they do not think that they are too important. Derek is very modest for someone who is so rich. Occupy. To occupy a place is to live, work, or be there. Kevin and Alice occupied the chairs and had a long discussion. Penny. A penny is a coin worth one cent. U.S. President Abraham Lincoln is on the penny. Preach. To preach is to talk about and promote a religious idea. Aaron often preached about living an honest life. Prosper. To prosper is to be successful or make a lot of money. Frank's new business finally prospered after many years of hard work. Province. A province is a small area that is controlled by a country. Canada is divided into several different provinces. Satisfaction. Satisfaction is a feeling you get when you do or receive something good. Brad was filled with satisfaction when he saw what was for dinner. Sustain. To sustain something is to keep it going. Wind power is a clean way to sustain a city with energy. The real Saint Nick. At Christmas, children wait for Saint Nicholas to bring gifts down the chimney. But it's not just a story. Saint Nicholas was a real person. A long time ago, a man named Marcus occupied a house with his family. He was not modest. He always told everybody he was the strongest man in the province. He worked hard, but he could barely sustain his family. He wanted to save money and prosper. Still, he could never earn a penny more than he needed. One day, Marcus made an agreement with a blacksmith. The blacksmith had a lot of work to do, but he couldn't do it all by himself. Marcus wanted to help him forge iron. The blacksmith agreed to compensate him with a lot of money. In the same town, there was a man named Nicholas. At an early age, Nicholas started preaching. 
but he also believed that he should be humble and charitable. He learned that helping people gave him even more satisfaction than preaching. One day, Nicholas encountered Marcus. Marcus told Nicholas about his agreement with the blacksmith. I worked hard for him, Marcus said, but a problem arose. Even though I worked for him, he didn't pay me. Nicholas wanted to help Marcus. That night, he went back to Marcus's house. He brought a bag of gold. It exceeded the amount that Marcus needed. Nicholas climbed up a ladder and dropped the bag of gold down the chimney. Marcus thanked his benefactor. Soon, people found out about Nicholas's gift. He became well known and loved. Even today, people still give secret gifts to children, and we say they are from St. Nicholas. Unit 2 Word List Acquire To acquire something is to gain possession of it. Tina acquired a strange package yesterday. Awkward. If something is awkward, it is embarrassing and uncomfortable. After dropping his coffee cup, Robbie felt awkward. Caretaker. A caretaker is a person who takes care of very young, old, or sick people. My grandmother's caretaker helps her get around the house. Deceive. To deceive someone is to make them believe something that is not true. He tried to deceive his friends as they were playing a game. Discourage. To discourage someone is to make them feel less excited about something. Mr. Perry discouraged the students from quitting school. Fake. If something is fake, it is made to look real in order to trick people. The model was wearing fake eyelashes. Hatred. Hatred is a strong feeling of not liking someone or something. I have a hatred for the taste of medicine. Hut. A hut is a house made of wood, grass, or mud that has only one or two rooms. We all went into the hut to sleep. Inferior. If something is inferior, it is not as good as something else. Cars built a hundred years ago are inferior to ones built today. Lodge. A lodge is a house in the mountains used by people who hunt or fish. During our ski trip, we stayed at a lodge. Neglect. To neglect someone or something is to not take care of it properly. William neglected his room. So it is a complete mess. Newcomer. A newcomer is a person who has recently arrived at a place or a group. The students happily welcome the newcomer to the school. Offense. An offense is behavior that is wrong or breaks a law. Stealing a car is a very serious offense. Overlook. To overlook something is to not notice it or to not realize that it is important. Brenda overlooked the last step and had a bad fall. Repay. To repay is to pay back or to reward someone or something. She repaid her friend for all of his hard work with a small gift. Ridiculous. If something is ridiculous, it is silly or strange. Steve looked ridiculous with those huge blue sunglasses. Satisfactory. If something is satisfactory, it is good enough. Mina often received satisfactory grades since she studied so hard. Shepherd. A shepherd is a person who protects and cares for sheep. The shepherd moved the sheep to another field. Venture. To venture is to go to a place that may be dangerous. Even though it was dangerous, they ventured up the mountain. Wheat. Wheat is a plant which makes grain. Wheat grain is used to make bread. The field of golden wheat was ready to be harvested. The Shepherd and the Wild Sheep. Once there was a shepherd. Every night he counted and gathered his sheep.
he was sure never to overlook any of them. One night, he saw some wild sheep had joined his herd. He hoped to acquire the newcomers. It snowed that night. In the morning, the shepherd couldn't take his sheep out of his lodge. Instead, he had to feed them inside. He gave a small amount of wheat to his own sheep, but he gave more of the food to the wild sheep. He thought the extra wheat would discourage them from leaving. It snowed for several days. During that time, the shepherd's sheep ate very little. The wild sheep, however, ate very well. At last, the snow melted and they ventured outdoors. As soon as he opened the door of his hut, the wild sheep started to run away. Wait, this is how you repay me? After I treated you so kindly, why do you run away? The shepherd asked. His voice was full of hatred. The wild sheep stopped and turned toward the shepherd. We're leaving because you fed us better than your own sheep, one of the wild sheep replied. You tried to deceive us with your ridiculous plan. Yesterday you treated us kindly, but tomorrow you might be different. If more wild sheep joined your herd, you would treat us as inferior sheep. As the wild sheep ran away, the shepherd understood his offense. He knew this awkward situation was his own fault. He had not been a satisfactory caretaker. He was a fake friend to the wild sheep. Because of this, he had neglected his own herd. Unit 3 Word List Alley An alley is a narrow road behind houses or buildings. The alley behind my house looks dirty. Axe An axe is a tool used to cut wood. She used an axe to cut some wood for the fire. Bunch. A bunch is a group of the same things. She was hungry, so she ate the entire bunch of grapes. Chore. A chore is a job that you have to do but don't like. It's Nikki's chore to do the dishes every Tuesday and Wednesday night. Decent. When something is decent, it is okay or good enough. Eric did a decent job painting the fence. Disgrace. Disgrace is a feeling of shame. He felt a sense of disgrace after failing his big exam. Elbow. The elbow is the middle part of a person's arm that lets you bend it. She pointed to her elbow to show me where she hurt herself. Grateful. When you are grateful for something, you are happy that it happened. The girls were grateful to have a chance to spend time with their grandfather. Irritate. To irritate means to annoy someone. She was irritated when her brother told her that he had lost her camera. Kid. To kid is to make a joke to make someone believe something which is not true. I'm not really mad. I was kidding when I said I was angry. Loose. When something is loose, it is not held in place well. The bolt was loose, so I tightened it with the wrench. Offend. To offend someone means to make them angry or upset. They were both offended by what they had said to each other. Overnight. When something happens overnight, it happens during the night. The camper stayed in the tent overnight. Persist. To persist means to keep doing something even when it is hard. Even though the lesson was difficult, he persisted until he understood. Pine. A pine is a type of tree that is tall and thin. There were many beautiful pine trees in the forest. Scar. A scar is a mark on the skin after a wound heals. The monster had horrible scars on his cheek and forehead. Sensation. A sensation is a feeling a person gets from their senses. Mom got a painful sensation in her head from the loud noise. Sled. A sled is a small vehicle that you use on snow. Marvin likes to ride his sled down the hill in winter. Tease. To tease someone means to laugh at or make fun of them. 
Jake teased Charlie because he was the new student. Valentine. A valentine is someone you love or admire with great affection. Harry wanted Molly to be his valentine. The Boy and His Sled. Mike was the smallest child in school. Another boy, Joe, always teased Mike. Joe had a large scar on his face from fighting other children. One day, Joe offended Mike when he made fun of Mike's valentine, Jane. Mike felt disgrace, but he didn't know how to make Joe stop. That day, Mike walked home down an alley. He found a bunch of wood boards next to a pine tree. He thought to himself, I could build a decent sled from this. If I let Joe use it, he will be nicer to me and Jane. He took the wood home. Mike got an axe and cut the wood. He used nails to make sure that the pieces were not loose. As he worked, he bumped his elbow on the boards. The painful sensation made him want to cry. It was a hard chore, but he persisted. He worked overnight. By morning, the sled was finished. Mike called Joe on the telephone. He said, Hi, Joe. Come over to my house right away. Joe didn't know why Mike wanted him to come over. When Joe arrived, Mike told him, Joe, it irritated me the other day when you said mean things about my card to Jane. You weren't kidding when you said those mean things. But I'm not like you. I just built this sled, and I'll let you ride it with me if you are nice. They became friends, and Joe was grateful that Mike was so nice to him. He learned that it is more fun to be nice than to be mean. Unit 4 Word List Bloom When a plant blooms, it makes flowers. Roses look so pretty when they bloom. Compact If something is compact, it is smaller than normal. A laptop computer is much more compact than a desktop model. Curl A curl is a small piece of something with a round shape. The colorful ribbons were bent into curls. Decay To decay is to be destroyed naturally. The old wooden house was slowly decaying. Dessert Dessert is a sweet food that you eat after a meal. Kayla wants ice cream for dessert. Dip To dip something is to put part of it into a liquid for a short time. Laurel dipped her strawberry into the chocolate. Distant If something is distant, it is far away. Michael could barely see the distant island. Eclipse An eclipse is an occasion when the moon moves in front of the sun. A complete eclipse of the sun is a very rare occurrence. Fairy a fairy is a small, magic creature with wings. There are usually fairies in fantasy stories. Grace Grace is a quality of moving in a smooth, relaxed, and attractive way. The ballerina danced with grace. Leisure Leisure is time when you do not have to do work. Eve likes to listen to music in her leisure time. Mankind Mankind is all of the world's people. All of mankind has to work to make this a better world. Passion Passion is a very strong feeling of wanting to do something. She had a passion for dancing. Pillow A pillow is something that you put your head on when you sleep. When I travel, I usually take along my favorite pillow. Pulse. A pulse is the beat of the heart. The doctor checked the patient's pulse by feeling his wrist. Refresh. To refresh someone is to make them feel less hot or tired. The baby was refreshed after taking a cool bath. Sneeze. To sneeze is to suddenly blow air out of your nose and mouth. He sneezed after smelling the flower. Spice. A spice is a flavor for food and drinks. Two common spices found in many homes are salt and pepper. 
Whistle. To whistle is to make a sound by putting your lips together and blowing. As he was listening to music, Daryl whistled. Wool. Wool is the hair that a sheep has. Grandma wants to use the blue wool to knit me a sweater. Tiny Tina. In a distant land, there was a kingdom where fairies lived. Tina was a fairy. She had yellow curls and wore a dress made of wool. She always moved with grace. However, because of her compact size, she was scared of mankind. One day, there was an eclipse of the sun. The fairies didn't know what was happening. They were scared, so they ran away. Tina looked for a place to hide. She found a garden with flowers blooming. Tina had a passion for flowers. She decided to hide there. She became sleepy and made a pillow with some leaves. She whistled happily as she worked, and she fell asleep. Suddenly, somebody sneezed. The sound woke Tina up. She saw a very big face looking at her. Tina was so scared that she couldn't move. She could feel her pulse going very fast. The big woman went into her house. When she came back, she gave Tina a cup. The woman sat on the ground among some decaying leaves. Tina dipped a finger in the cup and tasted it. It was tea with all kinds of delicious spices in it. Tina felt refreshed after drinking the tea. I'm Wilma, the lady said. I spend all my leisure time in my garden cutting flowers. Would you like some dessert? Tina said yes. She was hungry, and she wasn't frightened anymore. She took a bite of cake and relaxed. How did you get to my garden? Tina told Wilma how she got lost. That's terrible. Let us take you home. Actually, I think that I want to stay with you, Tina said. She wasn't scared of big people anymore. Wilma and Tina lived happily ever after. Unit 5 Word List Acquaint To acquaint is to get to know something or someone. Nancy acquainted herself with the new computer. Cemetery A cemetery is where people are buried when they die. Some people are scared of cemeteries. Curse To curse someone or something is to hope that bad things happen to them. The witch cursed the village. Disguise A disguise is something you wear so people cannot tell who you are. Everyone knew that it was Dad in the Santa disguise. Fancy. If something is fancy, it is nicer than normal. Their table was all set for a fancy dinner. Flashlight. A flashlight is a small electric light that you carry in your hand. We took a flashlight when we went camping. Hood. A hood is part of a coat that goes over your head. She put on her hood to keep her head warm. Inhabitant. An inhabitant is a person who lives in a certain place. The number of inhabitants in the countryside is increasing. Nourish. To nourish something is to give it food that it needs to live. A good mother will nourish her baby every day. Pirate. A pirate is a sailor who steals things from other boats. Pirates are very scary characters. Publication. A publication is something printed, like a newspaper or book. She's been a subscriber to that publication for over 10 years. Riddle. A riddle is a question that is difficult to answer but meant to be funny. I could not answer Wendy's riddle, but it made me laugh. Rot. When something rots, it slowly gets softer and is destroyed. The old log began to rot in the forest. Scare. To scare means to cause one to feel frightened. I was scared by the sight of the monster. Shortly. If something will happen shortly, it will happen very soon. My workday will end shortly. Skeleton. A skeleton is the bones of a body. There is a skeleton in the science classroom. 
Spoil. If something spoils, it turns bad or rots. We left the fruit out too long and it spoiled. Starve. If a person starves, they do not get enough to eat and sometimes die. During the war, many people starved. Thrill. A thrill is an exciting feeling. The boys enjoy the thrill of surfing a big wave. Wicked. If something is wicked, it is very bad or evil. My boss is a very wicked man. Trick or treat. Many different cultures have had traditions about the dead. People in places like Ireland, China, Egypt, and Mexico believed that souls needed food. They thought the food nourished them on their journey from cemeteries to heaven. People had to put out good things for souls to eat. However, if the food rotted or spoiled, the soul got mad. The wicked soul might curse the family and make them starve during the winter. In other places, people begged for food on a holiday that remembers the souls of dead saints. People wore disguises with hoods that covered their faces. If they did not get food, they played a trick on the home. For this reason, the activity is known as trick or treating. Shortly after people first began trick or treating, parents started sending their children to beg on that day. Housewives gave the children food if they performed a song or a dance. When people moved to America from all over the world, they brought this tradition with them. Inhabitants of villages started trick or treating in the early 1900s. In 1939, a children's publication acquainted the whole country with the tradition. It became very popular. Today, trick or treaters are not begging for food and they are not scared of souls. They just enjoy the thrill of dressing up like creatures and getting candy. Ghosts and skeletons are favorite costumes. But some children wear fancy disguises, like pirates. They carry flashlights instead of fires. In some places, children still perform songs or riddles to get candy. But most of the time, they just say, trick or treat. Unit 6 Word List Alert To alert someone is to tell or warn them about something. The fire alarm alerted us that there was a problem. Broadcast. A broadcast is a television or radio show. We watch the broadcast of the local news on TV. Bulletin. A bulletin is a news report that talks about very recent and important events. There was a live bulletin reporting on the economy of the city. Bump. A bump is a small raised area on a surface. The monkey got a bump on his head because he was hit by a rock. Chop. To chop something means to cut it into pieces with a tool. Mom chopped some vegetables to put into the stew. Closet. A closet is a small room used to store things. Marie has many clothes inside of her closet. Console. To console someone who is sad means to make them comforted. When my dog ran away, my dad consoled me. District. A district is a small part of a city, county, state, or country. I live in a residential district of Seattle, Washington. Drawer. A drawer is a small part in furniture that is used to store things. I put my clothes into the empty drawers. Endure. To endure something tough means to do or go through it. She had to endure her husband shouting all day long. Execute. To execute someone means to kill them as a legal punishment. Some people are executed for serious crimes. Grasp. To grasp something means to hold it. He grasped the bag of money tightly. Rear. When something is in the rear of something, it is in the back. The man loaded the rear of his truck with boxes. Senator. A senator is someone who makes laws for a state. 
The young senator promised to make laws that would help the people. Skull. A skull is the hard part of your head. Your brain is inside of it. The brain is protected by the skull. Stir. To stir something means to mix it using something small like a spoon. Mom stirred the batter until it was smooth. Tap. To tap something is to hit it lightly. He tapped the keys of the keyboard to write a short word. Tremendous. When something is tremendous, it is very large. The Earth's oceans are filled with a tremendous amount of water. Underneath. When something is underneath something else, it is below or lower than it. The roots of a tree are located underneath the ground. Worm. A worm is a small animal with a long, thin body. Worms are often used to help catch fish. The Senator and the Worm. A rich senator lived in a big house. He had more money than anyone in his district. One day he was sitting on a chair listening to a radio broadcast. As he listened to the news bulletin, a worm crawled from underneath the chair and onto his head. His cook was in the kitchen stirring some spaghetti sauce. Suddenly, a cry from the senator alerted him. He ran to the rear of the house where the senator was sitting. The cook looked and saw the worm. He tried to console the senator. I'll take it off right away, he said. No! shouted the senator. I want you to kill it. But it's only a worm, the cook said. Why should we execute it? It hasn't committed a crime. The senator could not endure the worm on his head. Hurry! he shouted. The cook looked through several drawers but found nothing. Then he ran to the closet and took out a pipe. He returned to the senator and lifted the pipe over his head. He knew he couldn't just tap the worm, he was going to hit it hard. He grasped the pipe tightly. What are you waiting for? said the senator. Kill it! The cook swung the pipe at the senator's head. Oh no! the worm said. He's going to chop me in half. It jumped off the senator's head. There was a tremendous noise. Ow! cried the senator. A bump rose upon his skull. Meanwhile, the worm crawled outside. That was close, said the worm. Instead of being nice, he wanted to hurt me. Now that man has a big bump on his head. Unit 7 Word List Abandon To abandon something is to leave it forever or for a long time. The old room had been abandoned years before. Ambitious If someone is ambitious, they want to be rich or successful. Kendra had to be ambitious to get into medical school. Bark. When a dog barks, it makes a short, loud noise. The dog barked loudly and frighteningly. Bay. A bay is an area near the ocean where the land goes inward. The Golden Gate Bridge crosses San Francisco Bay. Brilliant. If someone is brilliant, they are very smart. My younger sister is brilliant for someone her age. Chin. Your chin is the hard part at the bottom of your face. Luke pointed to the hair on his chin. Complaint. A complaint is something you say to tell people that you don't like something. Mom said she didn't want to hear my brother's complaints. Deaf. When someone is deaf, they cannot hear. Susan was born deaf. Enthusiastic. To be enthusiastic about something is to be excited by or interested in it. The man was enthusiastic about his job. Expedition. An expedition is a long trip, usually to a place very far away. They got into their spaceship to begin their expedition. Horizon. The horizon is where the sky looks like it meets the ground. The sun dipped below the horizon. Loyal. To be loyal to something or someone is to agree to always help them. The three friends are very loyal to each other. 
Mayor. The mayor is the person in charge of a city. The mayor of my hometown is quite a powerful speaker. Mutual. If something is mutual, it is felt in the same way by two or more people. Robert likes Sarah. The feeling is mutual. Overweight. If someone is overweight, they are very fat. Roger eats too much, so now he's overweight. Refuge. A refuge is a place where you go to be safe. When it started to rain, she found refuge in the house. Restore. To restore something is to put it back the way it was. Victor restored the old car. Rub. To rub something is to push on it and move your hand back and forth. Mom's feet were sore, so she rubbed them. Senses. Your senses are how you see, taste, hear, feel, and smell. It would be hard to live without your five senses. Veterinarian. A veterinarian is a doctor that takes care of animals. Wanda became a veterinarian because she loves dogs. Patsy Ann. A long time ago in Alaska, a dog named Patsy Ann watched the horizon. Every day, she waited by the bay for ships returning from an expedition. Patsy Ann was a brilliant dog, and she was very unique. She was deaf. She couldn't bark either, but she used all of her other senses to know when a ship was near. Patsy Ann lived on the streets. Her owners did not want her because she could not hear, so they abandoned her. She found refuge in a fancy hotel. Guests rubbed her back and scratched her chin. Many people gave her food. She became quite overweight. She became very famous. Visitors to Alaska were enthusiastic about meeting her. They brought presents for her. They liked seeing her, and the feeling was mutual. The mayor said Patsy Ann should be called the town's greeter. The people in town loved Patsy Ann too, even though she lived on the streets. They were willing to fight to keep her. A new law made all dogs wear a collar and get shots. The mayor received many complaints. People wanted Patsy Ann to be able to stay. One ambitious sailor got people to help. Together, they paid for Patsy Ann to go to the veterinarian. She got her shots and collar. She could stay. When Patsy Ann died, everyone missed the town's loyal greeter. So. The mayor hired someone to make a statue of Patsy Ann. He restored the town's greeter. Now she sits at the dock forever, waiting for ships to come home. Unit eight, word list. Anniversary. An anniversary is a day that celebrates something from the past. My parents went out to eat for their wedding anniversary. Arithmetic. Arithmetic is math. I like to study arithmetic at school. Ashamed. To be ashamed is to feel upset because you did something wrong or bad. He was ashamed when he found out that I knew about his past. Burst. To burst is to suddenly break open or apart. The bomb burst over the city. Carpenter. A carpenter is a person who builds things with wood. We hired a carpenter to make a cupboard. Coal. Coal is a hard black rock that you burn for heat. Many power stations burn coal to produce energy. Couch. A couch is a long, soft seat that many people can sit on. Kim and Martin's new couch was very expensive. Drip. When a liquid drips, just a little bit falls at a time. I heard water dripping from the faucet. Elegant. If something is elegant, it is very fancy and pleasing. In Japan, women wear elegant kimonos on special occasions. Fabric. Fabric is cloth used to make clothes, furniture, etc. The towels were made from a soft fabric. Highlands. 
The highlands are high areas of land, usually with mountains. The man had a small home in the highlands. Ivory. Ivory is a white, hard substance that comes from elephants. The elephant's long ivory tusks looked very impressive. Mill. A mill is a building where flour is made. The farmer took his wheat to the mill to make it into flour. Needle. A needle is a small, sharp piece of metal that you use to make or fix clothes. I used a needle to fix the hole in my pants. Polish. To polish something is to rub it in order to make it shiny. Mark spent all morning polishing his shoes for the wedding. Sew. To sew means to put pieces of cloth together using string. I learned to sew when I was a little girl. Shed. A shed is a small building where you store things like tools. We have a small shed in the backyard for storage. Thread. A thread is a thin piece of string. I have many different colors of thread at home. Trim. To trim something is to cut it a little bit. I had my hair trimmed this afternoon. Upwards. If something goes upwards, it moves vertically higher. The kite went upwards further and further. The anniversary gift. Joe was a carpenter. He built houses in the Highlands. Joe's wife Stella used a needle and thread to sew elegant clothing. She only used beautiful fabric to make clothes. Since they didn't have a lot of money, they lived in an old shed. Water dripped in when it rained. They had broken chairs instead of a couch, but they had coal for heat and flour from the mill for bread. Together, they trimmed the bushes to make their house look nice. Joe and Stella were poor, but not ashamed. They were happy. Sometimes in the evening, they walked downtown. They looked in store windows and dreamed. Stella wanted a hairbrush with an ivory handle. She pulled her hair upwards every day because she didn't have a brush to make it nice. Joe wanted to fix his grandfather's watch. For their anniversary, Stella wanted to get Joe what he wanted. But then she did the arithmetic. It would take at least six months to save enough money. Then she had an idea. She cut off all of her hair and sold it. Meanwhile, Joe knew that he could never fix his watch, so he polished it and sold it. He made enough to buy the brush. On their anniversary, the door burst open. Joe was excited to give Stella his gift, but first Stella gave him the money to fix the watch. When he saw his wife without any hair, he smiled. "I sold my watch to buy you something," Joe said. He gave her the brush, and she laughed. They were both willing to give up something very special to make each other happy. Unit nine, word list. Ail. To ail a person or group is to cause difficulty or pain. My brother went to the doctor to see what was ailing him. Ally. An ally is someone who agrees to help or support you. I was happy to find many allies who shared the same opinion as me. Boast. To boast is to talk about how good you are. We all became tired of listening to him boast about himself all day. Bounce. To bounce is to move something up and away from a surface after hitting it. Owen bounced the ball on the ground. Bully. A bully is a person who is mean to others. The two bullies always picked on the smaller, weaker kids. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are substances in foods like bread that give you energy. Carbohydrates like rice are a good source of energy for active people. Crawl. To crawl is to move slowly on your hands and knees. The baby crawled across the floor. Defeat. To defeat someone is to beat them in a game or battle. The champion defeated the challenger in the boxing match. Dial. 
A dial is the front of a clock. I looked at the dial to see what time it was. Dominant. When someone or something is dominant, they are stronger than others. The gorilla is one of the dominant animals in the jungle. Mercy. If you show mercy, you choose not to punish or harm someone. He asked his boss for mercy and to not fire him. Nod. To nod is to move your head up and down. I nodded my head as I listened to the song. Opponent. An opponent is someone who fights against you. On the field, our opponents were too good for us. Quarrel. To quarrel is to argue or fight. Billy quarreled with his wife about buying a new house. Rival. A rival is someone that is trying to keep you from getting what you want. The three rivals were all competing for the same job. Sore. When a part of your body is sore, it hurts. After lifting the heavy box, Mona's back was sore. Sting. To sting is to cause pain by pushing a sharp part into the skin. The needle stung my arm and made me say ouch. Strain. To strain is to try very hard. Casey strained to lift the heavy box. Torture. Torture is something that causes you physical or mental pain. Greg thought that writing the essay was torture. Wrestle. To wrestle is to play a game where you try to push someone to the floor. My dad loved to wrestle when he was in high school. Dalton versus the bully. Dalton was a nice boy, but sometimes the other boys made fun of him because he was so tall and skinny. Dalton's biggest problem was Mitch. He was a bully who boasted about his strength. He quarreled with the other boys. Sometimes, if boys gave Mitch their lunch money, he would have mercy and leave them alone. One day, the boys learned about a special middle school Olympics. Their gym class was going to be in it. Many kids were excited, but Dalton thought it sounded like torture. That morning, Dalton ate plenty of carbohydrates for breakfast. He entered the gym and looked at the dial on the clock. It was time to begin. The teacher asked if they were ready. Everyone nodded except Dalton. I got stung by a bee. I need to see the nurse, said Dalton. He made it up so he wouldn't have to play. I don't believe you. Get ready to play, responded the coach. First, they wrestled. Then they jumped, crawled, and played other games. But Mitch was dominant in every event. They strained all morning to defeat him. By lunch, they were sore. Their entire bodies ailed them. They thought about how to win. They knew the last game of the day was volleyball. Kids who used to be Dalton's rivals became his allies. They wanted him to help them beat Mitch. Dalton was going to be Mitch's opponent. The game started. Every time Mitch tried to hit the ball over the net, Dalton stopped it. Finally, Mitch used all of his strength, but the ball bounced off Dalton's hands and back into Mitch's face. Finally, Mitch was defeated. Unit 10 Word List Absence Absence is the state of something being away. There is an absence of sand in the hourglass. Aloud. If you say something aloud, you say it so that others can hear you. My father often reads stories aloud to me and my sister. Bald. If someone is bald, they have no hair. My oldest brother is bald. Blanket. A blanket is a piece of cloth that you use to keep warm or to sit upon. I laid a blanket on the ground so that we could have a picnic. Creep. To creep is to move quietly and slowly. The cat slowly crept down the tree. Divorce. Divorce is an event in which a marriage is ended. Divorce rates have increased in the past 20 years. Imitate. 
To imitate someone is to do exactly what they do. He imitated his favorite superhero by putting on a costume. Infant. An infant is a baby. The infant cried all night. Kidnap. To kidnap someone is to take them illegally. She was terrified to find out her son was kidnapped. Nap. A nap is a short sleep, usually during the day. I took a short nap because I stayed up late last night. Nowhere. You use nowhere to say that a place or thing does not exist. Unfortunately, water was nowhere to be found. Pat. To pat something is to hit it softly with your hand. I patted some lotion onto my face. Relief. Relief is a feeling you get when something bad or challenging ends. I felt a sense of relief when I heard the good news. Reproduce. To reproduce is to make something exactly how someone else did it. The children tried to reproduce their house using toy blocks. Rhyme. To rhyme is to have the same sounds at the end of a word. Humpty Dumpty is an old rhyme that children learn in school. Suck. To suck is to put something in your mouth and try to get flavor out of it. The baby sucked milk from her bottle. Urgent. If something is urgent, it is important and needs to be done now. He had to leave now. It was urgent. Vanish. To vanish is to go away suddenly. All the passengers vanished from the train station. Wagon. A wagon is a cart you use to carry heavy things. He used his wagon to carry some of his gifts. Wrinkle. A wrinkle is a line on a person's face that happens as they get old. My grandfather has some wrinkles on his face. Anna the babysitter. Since her parents got a divorce, Anna has had to help her mother. In her mother's absence, Anna takes care of Grace the baby. At first, Anna thought it was an easy job. One afternoon, Anna played with Grace. She meowed like a cat, and Grace imitated her. In fact, Grace reproduced every sound that Anna made. She took her sister outside. She put Grace in the wagon, but there was nowhere for them to go. So they went back inside. Anna put the infant on the floor and went into her room. But when she came back, Grace had vanished. Anna looked everywhere, but she could not find her sister. Maybe the baby had been kidnapped. Where are you? Anna called aloud. The situation was becoming urgent. She wanted to call her mom, but she didn't want her to think Anna couldn't do the job. Anna sat down. What was she going to do? But then Anna heard something. It was coming from her room. Grace? She got down on her knees and looked under the bed. She could see Grace's bald head. Grace had followed Anna into her room and crept under the bed. What a relief! Anna cried. She picked up her sister and patted her on the head. Her head was soft and had no wrinkles. Grace was sucking on a thumb and looked tired. So Anna wrapped her in a blanket and sang rhymes for her. Then she put Grace in bed for a nap. After that afternoon, Anna knew that taking care of Grace was not an easy job. It takes a lot of work to take care of a baby. Unit Eleven, Word List, Abnormal. If something is abnormal, it is strange or not normal. Her idea of art is a bit too abnormal for me. Bamboo. Bamboo is a hard plant with thin branches and leaves. Outside his home, there is a lot of bamboo. Blossom. A blossom is a flower or a group of flowers. There were colorful blossoms in the yard. Compass. A compass is a device used to tell what direction one is going. A compass is an important tool to have when you are traveling.
Dialect. A dialect is a regional variety of language showing where you are from. People from the UK have a different dialect of English from those in the US. Dishonest. If someone is dishonest, they do not tell the truth. She was being dishonest when she copied the answers from his test. Dwarf. A dwarf is a creature from stories that often looks like a short, hairy man. The dwarf had a pleasant look on his face. Ecosystem. An ecosystem is a group of plants and animals in an area. The river's ecosystem not only includes fish but other insects and plants too. Fatal. If something is fatal, it causes death. They passed away in a fatal car crash. Impatient. If someone is impatient, they are not able to wait for things. Bob was so impatient that he could barely wait for the light to turn green. Leaf. A leaf is the flat green thing on trees or bushes. In the fall, the leaves on the trees change colors. Manuscript. A manuscript is an old book or paper written by hand. The manuscript was written over 150 years ago. Marsh. A marsh is a type of wet land covered with grasses and short plants. The marsh looked so lovely against the mountains. Patience. Patience is the ability to wait for something without becoming upset. Sue's patience was rewarded by catching her very first fish. Perfume. Perfume is a good-smelling liquid that girls wear. When she wore her perfume, everyone said she smelled great. Pond. A pond is a very small area of water. The ducks swam in the pond. Proverb. A proverb is a short saying that tells you something important. The proverb "egg on your face" means you've done something embarrassing. Pursuit. A pursuit is a chase. The dinosaur was in pursuit of the caveman. Recite. To recite something means to repeat or say aloud in front of a group. Katie recited the Pledge of Allegiance in class. Wilderness. A wilderness is an area where no people live. If you are not careful, you can get lost in the wilderness. Peter and the Dwarf. Peter was a hunter. One day he was in pursuit of a deer and became lost. He usually carried a compass with him when he went into the wilderness, but that day he left it at home. As he walked. The forest began to look different. He didn't see any bamboo. Instead, there were bushes with long leaves. The ecosystem was now very abnormal. Peter knew he was in the magic marsh. Now he was tired and thirsty. He was afraid. Being lost in the marsh could be fatal. When people entered it, they never came out. At last, he found a pond. Flowers grew around it. The blossoms smelled like the best perfume. He felt relaxed, so he drank some water and fell asleep. When he awoke, he saw an evil dwarf staring at him. "What are you doing here?" it asked. The dwarf spoke in a strange dialect. "I'm lost," said Peter. "Can you help me?" "Yes," it said. But Peter didn't know it was dishonest. The dwarf took an old manuscript from his pocket. It was a magic map. "Just recite the words at the bottom," the dwarf explained. It will show you how to get home. Good, Peter said. He was impatient and quickly grabbed the map. He recited the magic words, and a line appeared on the map. He walked for many days, but never left the marsh. Finally, the map led him back to the pond. He walked in a circle. The dwarf was still there. Here's a proverb for you to think about. It said, "When patience is lost, then so are you." Unit Twelve, Word List. Anticipate. To anticipate something is to think that it will happen. 
Carrie anticipated the arrival of her baby. Barrel. A barrel is a round thing that you can keep liquids in. There was an empty barrel outside the house. Beam. A beam is a heavy bar. Modern skyscrapers are made with several beams. Casual. If something is casual, it is relaxed or simple. You can wear casual clothes to the party like jeans. Caution. Caution is care and attention in order to avoid danger. Please use the power saw with caution. It is very dangerous. Contrary. If something is contrary to something else, it is the opposite. It isn't warm outside at all. On the contrary, it is quite cold. Deliberate. If you are deliberate, you do something on purpose. Bernie made a deliberate attempt to injure Andy. Dissolve. To dissolve something is to mix it into a liquid and disappear. I dissolve the pill in a glass of water. Explode. When something explodes, it blows up. My new radio exploded when I plugged it in. Fasten. To fasten something is to close it or put it in the correct place. Elizabeth fastened her seatbelt. Germ. A germ is something that makes you sick. Germs are on everything that you touch. Kit. A kit is a set of all the things needed to do something. Is there a first aid kit in your office? Puff. A puff is a little bit of smoke or steam. A puff of smoke came from the burnt match. Rag. A rag is a small towel. Please use a rag to clean the dust off the table. Scatter. To scatter something is to make it go in many places. I accidentally scattered all of my pills. Scent. A scent is a smell. Julie enjoyed the scent of the flowers. Steel. Steel is a shiny gray metal. The new apartment building was made with steel. Swift. If something is swift, it is fast. The swift horse easily jumped over the hurdle. Toss. If you toss something, you throw it softly. He tossed a coin into the air. Triumph. Triumph is what you feel when you win or finish something. He raised the award in triumph at the end of his speech. The ice cream cone explosion. One day, John walked to his uncle's ice cream shop. When he reached the sidewalk, he caught the scent of ice cream cones and anticipated eating some ice cream. Sam opened the door. Uncle John had a new steel machine. What is that? It's a cone maker. I built it from a kit. You take flour from the barrel and put it in this pan, Uncle John said. Then add water and sugar here and stir it so the sugar dissolves. Next, you fasten down the beam. Uncle John wanted to look casual. Buddy was excited. He made a few swift motions and turned it on. There was a puff of smoke, and then cones came out the other end. Is it hard to use? Sam asked. On the contrary, it's easy to use. Want to try? Sam washed his hands with caution. He made a deliberate attempt to keep germs out of the dough. Soon, Sam had his first cone. He smiled in triumph. Uncle John tried to turn the machine off. But it just kept making cones. Sam and Uncle John put them on the counter, then on chairs. Before long, cones scattered all over the floor. They tried everything to stop it, but it wouldn't stop. What are we going to do? He said. Kick it! Yelled Sam. Uncle John lifted his foot and gave the machine a kick. It made a funny noise and exploded. They were both covered with dough. Uncle John laughed when he knew Sam was okay. He tossed Sam a rag to clean his face and smiled. 
I guess we have enough cones now. Unit 13. Word list. Aboard. When someone is aboard a ship or plane, they are on or in it. They climbed aboard the kayak and paddled through the river. Bitter. When a person is bitter, they are upset with someone or a situation. He was extremely bitter when his computer crashed. Bullet. A bullet is a small metal object that is shot out of guns. Bullets come in different sizes for different guns. Devil. The devil is a powerful evil spirit in some religions. The church promised protection from the devil. Drift. To drift means to be moved slowly by wind or water. The large chunk of ice drifted in the water. Enforce. To enforce means to make a person follow a rule. Police enforce traffic laws to keep everyone safe. Fountain. A fountain is a source of water made by people. There was a beautiful fountain in the middle of the park. Harbor. A harbor is an area of water along a shore where boats land. There were a few small boats in the harbor. Inhabit. To inhabit means to live in a certain place. No one inhabits the ancient city. March. To march means to walk at a steady pace together with others. The soldiers marched in straight rows. Millionaire. A millionaire is a person who has at least a million dollars. He became a millionaire because he was smart with his money. Port. A port is a place where ships stop to load and unload things. The ship was being loaded with materials at the port. Sheriff. A sheriff is a police officer who is in charge of a large area. It was the sheriff's job to make the city safe. Startle. To startle means to scare someone suddenly. The loud crash startled the sleeping woman. Sweat. To sweat means to lose liquid from the body through the skin. Whenever I work out, I sweat quite a bit. Trigger. A trigger is the part of the gun that a person pulls to make it fire. The man had his finger on the trigger of the gun. Unify. To unify means to bring people or things together. With their good deeds, the children tried to unify the world. Vessel. A vessel is a large ship or boat. We toured the area aboard a luxury vessel. Voyage. A voyage is a long journey made on a boat or an aircraft. The astronauts took off on a long voyage to the moon. Worship. To worship means to like and honor a person, thing, or religious figure. Many people around the world worship in a church. Sheriff Dan. Dan was the evil sheriff of Ocean Town. Dan was as cruel as the devil. He worshipped money. Dan was a millionaire, but he paid his police officers almost nothing. The police were very bitter, but Dan didn't care. He only cared about his money. Every person who inhabited Ocean Town disliked him. Dan enforced cruel laws. Once, Dan even put his own brother in jail for throwing a coin into a fountain. Sometimes, he pointed his gun into the air and pulled the trigger. He didn't want the bullets to hit anyone. He just wanted to scare people with the loud sound. Finally, the people of Ocean Town decided that they had to get rid of Sheriff Dan. With their understanding, the crowd sought to unify the town. They marched to Dan's house. He was startled by the sight when he ran to the door. When he opened the door, the crowd jumped on him. 
they used a rope to tie him to a chair. Dan yelled, Get your hands off of me! I'll put you all in jail for the rest of your lives! The crowd didn't listen. They carried Dan to the harbor and put him aboard a vessel. Dan was so scared that he began to sweat. He begged, If you let me go, I will give you all my money. The crowd said back, Sheriff, we don't care about your money. We know you will never change. We're sending you on a voyage to the middle of the ocean. The boat drifted out of the port, and Dan was never seen again. The people voted for a new sheriff, who was kind and fair. Unit 14. Word List. Apprentice. An apprentice is a person who learns how to do a job from a skilled person. Mark is an apprentice chef at the restaurant. Assure. To assure someone is to tell them something is true to make them less worried. He assured the boss that the building would be done on time. Bandage. A bandage is a piece of cloth used to stop bleeding. If you cut yourself, please get a bandage from the first aid kit. Bleed. To bleed is to lose blood. If you are not careful, you will cut your finger and bleed. Bond. To bond with someone is to become friends with them. The women bonded after several hours of conversation. Chef. A chef is a person who cooks in a restaurant. Tom is a chef at the restaurant near my house. Crown. A crown is the hat worn by a king or queen. The crown is made of gold. Departure. A departure is the act of leaving a place. They were excited about their departure back home. Diligent. If someone is diligent, they work hard and are careful. Craig has always been a very diligent person at work. Emperor. An emperor is the leader of a group of countries. The emperor Julius Caesar was in control of ancient Rome. Fiber. Fiber is a thread of a substance used to make clothes or rope. The mat was made from tiny fibers. Horrible. If something is horrible, it is very bad. The assignment was horrible. I hated it. Impolite. If someone is impolite, they are rude. Roger is impolite to everyone he meets. Kneel. To kneel is to put one or both knees on the ground. Daryl got down on one knee and asked Nina to marry him. Luxury. A luxury is an expensive thing that you do not need. We stayed at a luxury resort for our honeymoon. Massive. If something is massive, it is very big. The wheels on his truck were massive. Panic. To panic is to feel so nervous or afraid that you cannot think clearly. Everyone panicked when the house caught on fire. Priority. A priority is something that is more important than other things. My priority is to get good grades in school. Robe. A robe is a long, loose piece of clothing. Many people wear robes in the morning. Scold. To scold means to criticize one angrily because they have done wrong. Jesse was scolded by the teacher for not paying attention. The Helpful Apprentice There was once a small restaurant. People said that the best chef in the world worked there. But the chef was a horrible person to work for. He was impolite and scolded his workers all the time. The chef had a young apprentice. The apprentice's first priority was to make the best food in the world. He was happy to have a good teacher, but he didn't like the chef. The boy was a diligent worker, but the chef scolded him more than anyone else.
Then one day, the chef got great news. The emperor wanted to have dinner there that night. He was very excited. He was working very fast, and he made a mistake. He cut his hand with a knife, and it started to bleed. The apprentice gave him a bandage, but the chef still couldn't cook. The chef started to panic. The apprentice tried to assure him, "Everything will be okay," he said. But the chef was still afraid. Then they started to work together. They began to bond. The chef told the apprentice what to do. The boy cooked a great meal. As soon as they finished, the emperor arrived. He wore a beautiful robe made of soft fibers. He also had a massive crown. Everyone in the restaurant kneeled when the emperor came in. The chef and the boy brought out his food. The emperor was used to luxuries. Would he like the food? The emperor loved the food. After his departure, the chef was very proud and very thankful to his new friend, the apprentice. Unit fifteen, word list. Affair. An affair is an event or a thing that happened. My wife and I attended a formal affair over the weekend. Assembly. An assembly is a group that is together for the same reason. The students had an assembly to talk about their interests. Bless. To bless is to ask God for protection or help. The angel blessed the newborn baby to keep it safe. Cereal. Cereal is a food that you mix with milk and eat for breakfast. Cereal is a fast and common breakfast food enjoyed in the U.S. Cheerful. If someone is cheerful, they are happy or feel good. The children were cheerful because they didn't have to go to school. Diameter. The diameter of a round thing is the length across its center. The diameter of the tree was about twenty-two centimeters. Exploit. To exploit something is to use it for greedy reasons rather than good reasons. The company exploits their workers and makes them stay twelve hours a day. Famine. A famine is a long time with little or no food. The farmers couldn't grow any food on the dry soil, so there was a famine. Harvest. A harvest is the act of collecting food from farming. They had a lot of wheat from the last harvest. Merry. If someone is merry, they are very happy. They felt merry because the weather was great. Nut. A nut is a hard seed or fruit that comes from some trees and bushes. To eat a nut, first you have to crack its shell. Pardon. To pardon is a way to ask someone to repeat what was said before. Pardon me, teacher, but could you repeat what you just said? Pharaoh. A pharaoh was a king in ancient Egypt. The pharaohs ruled Egypt for thousands of years. Ripe. When a fruit is ripe, it is ready to be eaten. The cherries were nice and ripe. Roast. To roast something is to cook it in an oven or over a fire. Mom roasted a turkey for the holiday dinner. Routine. A routine is a way of doing things that is the same every time. My father's daily routine includes shaving right before breakfast. Scheme. A scheme is a plan or design. Mickey and Minnie came up with a scheme to solve the problem. Slim. If something or someone is slim, they are thin. Look at my new cell phone. It's very slim. Stove. A stove is a device used to cook food. Our new stove helps us to cook food much faster than before. Theft. A theft is a criminal act that involves someone stealing something. The theft of his TV took place when he was at work.
Why monkey has no home? For five years there was a famine. The farmers asked people to bless them, and finally they had a good harvest. Since there was now plenty of food, the pharaoh decided to have a party. The party was a happy affair. For five days they had a huge feast. Monkey was very happy. Because of the famine, he was very slim. He wanted to eat a lot of food. When he arrived at the feast, hundreds of long tables were filled with food. There were nuts, bowls of cereal, and ripe fruit. He could also smell hot roasted meat cooking on the stove. The assembly of animals was merry. However, during the feast, Monkey thought of a scheme to exploit the pharaoh's kindness. He decided to steal some of the food and then eat it at home. All the animals were cheerful. They didn't notice that Monkey was hiding food. After the feast, Monkey took the food to his house and ate it. He repeated this routine every day for four days. But on the fifth day, the pharaoh had a surprise. He was going to give all the animals a home. Monkey was very excited, but when he arrived at the pharaoh's home, he could not get through the door. The diameter of his waist was wider than the doorway. He was too fat. Monkey asked the pharaoh to forgive him for his theft, but the pharaoh said no. Pardon? asked the monkey. He didn't understand why the pharaoh was being unkind. Everybody else will have a home now, but not you. Now you know that greed gets you nothing, explained the pharaoh. Unit 16. Word List. Adolescent. An adolescent is a young person or a teenager. The adolescent was excited about getting a skateboard for his birthday. Aptitude. Aptitude is a natural ability or skill. He has a natural aptitude for water skiing. Compliment. To compliment is to say a nice thing about someone or something. Her co-worker complimented her for doing a good job. Hinder. To hinder is to keep someone or something from doing something. All the traffic hindered me from getting to work on time. Journalism. Journalism is the work of collecting the news to put in newspapers or on TV. Before becoming a teacher, she worked in journalism. Jury. A jury is a group of people that listen to a trial and say if someone is guilty. The jury listened closely to the attorney before they made their decision. Justice. Justice is fairness in the way that you treat other people. People turn to the court system when they are seeking justice. Liberty. Liberty is freedom to do what you want. To many people, the Statue of Liberty is a symbol of freedom. Literary. If someone or something is literary, it is involved with literature in some way. He worked hard to create a successful literary career. Pharmacy. A pharmacy is a place where medicine is sold. My mother sells medicine to people at the pharmacy. Pill. A pill is a small object that has medicine inside. She took a pill for her headache. Presume. To presume is to believe something is true without being certain. Since he raised his hand, the teacher presumed he knew the answer. Privacy. To have privacy is to be away from other people. Please hang the sign on the door so we can have some privacy. Punishment. A punishment is something that one must endure for any wrongdoing. He was given a punishment for being rude to the teacher. Sensible. If someone is sensible, they make good decisions. It was sensible for her to save some money each month. Slice. A slice is a piece from something larger, such as a cake. The girl enjoyed a slice of cake at her birthday party. Sorrow. Sorrow is a very sad feeling. The girl felt sorrow after her best friend moved away.
Straw. A straw is a thin tube that is used to suck liquid into the mouth. I drank the orange juice through a straw. Swell. To swell is to become larger and rounder. My sister's stomach began to swell after she got pregnant. Tidy. When something is tidy, it is clean and in order. Leon has always been a very tidy boy. Matthew learns a lesson. Matthew was a sensible boy. He always kept his room tidy and had a natural literary aptitude. One day, he hoped to have a career in journalism. The adolescent spent much of his time reading and liked having privacy. But his quiet personality hindered his ability to make friends. One day, Matthew went to the pharmacy to pick up some pills for his grandmother. He saw some boys leaning against a pole outside. One of the boys complimented Matthew. I like your jacket. Another boy asked, Do you want to go to Nate's restaurant? Sure, Matthew said. The boys walked to the restaurant. They were going to have slices of pizza. They ordered their food and drank soda with straws. They ate until their bellies swelled up. Matthew was having so much fun. One of the boys said, Let's leave without paying. Matthew didn't want to. But he presumed his new friends wouldn't like him if he didn't. Suddenly, the waiter yelled, Stop! The two other boys ran, leaving Matthew there alone. Soon, the police arrived. Leaving without paying for your meal is the same as stealing, said the police officer. The restaurant wants justice. So next week, you have to go to court and let a jury decide your punishment. When he went to court, the judge asked, Do you have anything to say, Matthew? He said, I feel sorrow for what I've done. Now I know that real friends won't ask you to do something illegal. The jury then let him have his liberty, but they made Matthew pick up trash as punishment. Much to Matthew's surprise, he ended up meeting some new friends. Unit 17 Word List Affection Affection is a feeling of liking someone or something. Amanda has a lot of affection for her little sister Sarah. Agency. An agency is a business or service set up to act for others. I went to a travel agency to help me arrange a flight home. Ash. Ash is the gray or black powder created when something is burned. The end of his cigar was full of ashes. Confine. To confine something is to keep it in one place. The elephant is confined to a cage in the zoo. Dismiss. To dismiss something is to say it is not important. He quickly dismissed my idea about a new project. Erupt. To erupt is for a volcano or something to shoot a hot substance. The volcano erupted for the first time in ten years. Faint. Faint is a power that causes some things to happen. Some people believe that a person's hand can tell their fate. Lava. Lava is the hot substance made of melted rock that shoots from volcanoes. The red hot lava poured from the volcano. Miserable. If someone is miserable, they are very unhappy. He was miserable after his dog died. Navigate. To navigate something is to control the way it moves or goes. She navigated the ship across the ocean. Originate. To originate somewhere is to start there. The idea of democracy originated in ancient Greece. Remainder. The remainder of something is what is left. He took a bite of the apple, then gave me the remainder of it. Retrieve. To retrieve something is to find it and get it back. She retrieved her mail from the mailbox. Shallow. If something is shallow, it is not deep. 
The kids were playing in the shallow water. Slope. A slope is ground that is not flat. The slope to the top of the mountain was very steep. Span. To span a length of time is to last that long. His work began in 1999. It has spanned many years since then. Superstition. A superstition is something magical that people believe is real. It is a superstition that Friday the 13th is an unlucky day. Sympathy. Sympathy is a feeling of being sad for another person. I felt sympathy for my sister, so I got her a balloon to cheer her up. Vibrate. To vibrate is to shake very hard. The machine made his whole body vibrate as he broke up the ground. Wander. To wander is to walk without going to a certain place. The boys like to wander in the woods and look at birds. The Magic Cup. Paul and John were brothers. They fought all the time because they both wanted to be leaders of the agency they both worked at. There was a superstition in their town about a magic cup. People said the cup was in a volcano located far away. Anyone who retrieved the cup would have their wish come true. John and Paul both wanted to find it. Then they could become the leader. They both left to find the cup. Before their trip, their mother said they should work together. They dismissed that idea. Even though their trips originated from the same house, each wanted to travel alone. They were both miserable during the trip. They had to navigate small boats across shallow rivers and climb difficult slopes. Their journey spanned many days. When they finally got close to the volcano, the ground began to vibrate and the volcano erupted. Ash filled the sky and lava covered everything. John climbed to the top of a hill to keep from getting burned. A few moments later, his brother went up the same hill. They were confined to the hill until the lava cooled down. They talked about the things they had seen while wandering around the country. They felt more sympathy and affection for each other than ever before. They decided that fate had brought them together. The next day, they left to finish the remainder of the trip together. Everything seemed much easier. When they finally found the cup, They learned that it didn't make wishes come true. It was only an ordinary cup. But the trip to reach the cup taught them to work together and love each other. Unit 18. Word List Armor. Armor is metal worn by soldiers to protect the body. The soldier wore armor to protect his body. Blaze. To blaze means to burn brightly or powerfully. The small fire soon blazed into a large, dangerous one. Boom. To boom means to make a loud, deep sound. The firecrackers made a loud boom when they exploded. Cliff. A cliff is a high and often flat wall of rock. The wolf stood at the cliff and howled. Flame. A flame is part of fire. The torch was filled with yellow and orange flames. Independence. Independence is the state of being free from the control of others. After leaving home, Sophia had a great feeling of independence. Invasion. An invasion is an attack by a group from another country. In Korea, Walls were built around cities to protect them from invasions. Knight. A knight is a soldier of high rank and skill who usually serves a king. He was the best soldier, so the king made him a knight. Lightning. Lightning is the bright light seen during a storm. The lightning flashed above the water. Rebel. A rebel is a person who fights the government in order to change it. The rebel had enough of the government's unfair policy. Retreat. 
To retreat means to run away because you have been beaten in a fight. The army retreated because they were losing the battle. Revolution. A revolution is a change to the political system by a group of people. The revolution in Russia led to the creation of the Soviet Union. Spear. A spear is a long stick with a blade on one end that is used as a weapon. The soldier was holding a spear in his hand. Steep. If something is steep, then its slope or angle rises or falls sharply. He rode his bike up the steep hill to reach the top. Summit. A summit is the highest part of a hill or mountain. Snow covered the summit of the mountain even during the summer. Thunder. Thunder is the loud noise heard during a storm. The sound of the thunder startled me. Troops. Troops are soldiers that fight in groups in a battle. The troops were all prepared to go into battle. Warrior. A warrior is a brave soldier or fighter. The samurai were some of the most skilled warriors in the ancient world. Withdraw. To withdraw means to leave a place, usually during war. After losing the battle, the enemy withdrew back to its own country. Yield. To yield something means to give up control of it or to give it away. He had to yield his turn because he was in checkmate. The Knight's Plan. A town was fighting for their independence from another country. Several rebels started a revolution. However, they were afraid of an invasion from a lot of troops. They didn't have enough warriors to stop them, so they asked a knight for help. The knight made a plan. A tall mountain was outside the town. The road near the top was very narrow. Cliffs rose on both sides of it. We must trick the enemy. They have to follow us up the mountain. The knight explained, "On the narrow path, only a few can attack us at one time." The people agreed with the knight's plan. The knight put on his armor, and the warriors got their spears. When the enemy attacked, the knight and warriors acted as if they were afraid. They quickly withdrew toward the mountain. The enemy troops followed them up the steep path. Soon, the enemy became tired. At the summit, the knight and his troops stopped. The enemy was close behind them, but now they were tired. Also, only a few could attack because the path was narrow. The knight and the warriors fought the enemy, but there were too many troops. The knight was afraid. If the warriors yielded the path to the enemy, the town would be lost. A storm suddenly came over the mountain. There was strong wind and rain. Thunder boomed. Lightning struck some trees near the enemy. The trees blazed. The flames scared the enemy, and they retreated. They ran down the mountain, out of the town, and never returned. The knight explained, "With a little luck, a good plan beats even a big army." Unit nineteen, word list. Bench. A bench is a long seat for two or more people. Most parks have benches for citizens to relax upon. Confront. To confront a hard situation or person is to deal with it. The couple has to confront each other about their problems. Daisy. A daisy is a small flower with white petals and a yellow center. There were a few daisies growing in the field. Dispute. A dispute is an argument or disagreement that people have. Karen and Brian often have disputes about silly things. Horror. Horror is a feeling of being very afraid or shocked. The audience screamed in horror when the ghost appeared in the movie. Incident. An incident is an event that is usually not pleasant. Mr. Wilson had an incident where he became sick and had to leave. Mist. 
Mist is water that you can see in the air or on a surface. The forest was covered with mist. Object. An object is an inanimate thing that you can see or touch. The shopping cart was filled with objects. Orphan. An orphan is a child who does not have parents. The orphan frequently cried during the night. Plot. To plot is to make a secret plan to do something that is wrong or mean. The group was plotting to ruin the company's financial reports. Pregnant. When a female is pregnant, she is going to have a baby. The pregnant woman was shopping for baby clothes. Rage. Rage is a very angry feeling. The chef was filled with rage when his helpers ruined the meal. Revenge. Revenge is what you do to hurt or punish someone who hurts you. He broke his sister's doll as revenge after she lost his favorite book. Shame. Shame is a bad feeling about things you have done wrong. The boy felt shame about misplacing his clothes. Sigh. To sigh is to breathe out loudly and show that you are tired or sad. Molly sighed when she looked at all the information she had to research. Sneak. To sneak is to move quietly so that no one hears or sees you. The thief snuck out of the house without anyone noticing him. Spare. To spare something is to give it because you have more than you need. I wanted to help him, but I couldn't spare a tire. Stem. The stem of a plant is the stick that grows leaves or flowers. The rose had a long, thin stem. Supper. Supper is a meal that is eaten in the evening. We usually have supper around six o'clock at my house. Tender. When something is tender, it is soft and easy to chew. The meat was so tender they didn't need knives to cut it with. The magic pear tree. It was a cool morning and the grass was covered in mist. The market was full of people. A mean farmer named Jack yelled, "Pears for sale!" He sat on a bench, plotting how he could trick people. Then an orphan came to his cart. "Can you spare a pear?" she asked. Jack felt rage. He replied, "You don't have any money." "Please, I haven't had supper in days." "No!" shouted the farmer. The orphan sighed. However, a pregnant lady heard the dispute and confronted Jack. "Just give her a pear," she said. Jack had no shame and said no. Finally, a man bought a pear for the girl. The girl quickly ate it, but she saved the seed. She wanted to get revenge. She told Jack, "I know a way to get hundreds of pears in one day. I'll show you how." He watched the girl dig a hole. She dropped the seed into the ground. Then she spread the dirt over it. Watch closely, she said. In a few minutes, a stem will grow. It'll turn into a tree that's full of pears. Jack stared at the dirt, but nothing happened. The only objects there were a few daisies. He looked for the girl, but she had snuck away. Then he looked at his cart in horror. It was empty. He suddenly realized that the orphan had tricked him. While Jack was waiting for the tree to grow, the people had taken the pears from his cart. They all laughed while they were eating the tender fruit. The farmer felt ashamed. The incident taught him to be kinder. Unit twenty, word list. Beneath. If something is beneath something else, it is under it. The largest part of an iceberg lies beneath the waterline. Cub. A cub is a baby animal, such as a bear or lion. The lion cub was crying for its mother. Dawn. Dawn is the time of day when the sun rises. At dawn, the sun gently rose over the farm. Dissatisfied. 
If you are dissatisfied, you are not happy with something. I was dissatisfied with their decision to work on Sunday. Ease. When something is done with ease, it is not hard to do. The monkey climbed the tree with ease. Evident. When something is evident, it is easy to see or understand. It was evident from the look on his face that he was unhappy. Hail. Hail is ice that falls from the sky when rain freezes. The hail from the storm was the size of golf balls. Howl. To howl means to make a long, loud sound like a wolf or a dog. The wolf howled at the moon. Leap. To leap means to jump a long distance. He had to leap over the gap to reach the other side of the hill. Magnificent. When something is magnificent, it is beautiful and grand. The man gave his wife a pair of magnificent diamond earrings. Necessity. A necessity is something that is needed. Fresh water is a necessity for life. Outcome. An outcome is the end of an action or event. The outcome of his latest business plan was a complete failure. Pile. A pile is a large group of things on top of one another. The pile of cups was beginning to tilt. Profound. When something is profound, it is very intelligent. For a little boy, Jeremy has some profound thoughts. Seize. To seize something means to grab it quickly or strongly. The man seized as much money as he could before anyone could see him. Squeeze. To squeeze something means to press it together and hold it tightly. When Clara saw her cat, she gave it a big squeeze. Supreme. When something is supreme, it is the highest or best. The supreme officer was in charge of keeping the citizens calm. Terrific. When something is terrific, it is very good. My youngest daughter is a terrific painter. Trait. A trait is part of someone's personality. One trait of Salvador's personality is his cheerfulness. Vital. When something is vital, it is necessary for life. The heart is a vital organ. Little Wolf and Mother Wolf. Mother Wolf was a magnificent animal. She had all the traits of a terrific hunter. She was very strong and fast. She knew how to hide and how to seize prey. Mother Wolf was the forest's supreme creature. Her skills were evident to all the other animals. Mother Wolf lived in a den beneath a tree with her cub, Little Wolf. At dawn, Little Wolf and Mother Wolf were eating breakfast. Little Wolf looked sad. Mother Wolf said, "What is wrong, my cub?" Little Wolf said, "I want to be big like you. You can run and leap better than anyone. You can howl so loudly. Being big is a necessity." And I am so small," Mother Wolf said. "Don't be dissatisfied with your size. Being small can be very helpful sometimes." Just then, rain and hail began to fall. The tree was hit by lightning. It fell on the wolf's den. Little Wolf was scared. The wolves knew that escaping the den was vital. Mother Wolf said, "Little Wolf, I cannot move the heavy pile of branches." But you can escape with ease. You can get out and find help. Little Wolf crawled out of the den and called all the large animals for help. They went to the den and pulled away the branches. Mother Wolf came out and said, "Thank you, Little Wolf. You saved my life." She softly squeezed Little Wolf and kissed her. Little Wolf smiled. She said, "Mother, this outcome has taught me a profound lesson." Even though I'm small, I'm still important. 
Unit 21. Word List. Accustomed. When you become accustomed to something, you are in the habit of it. Grandfather is accustomed to reading the newspaper every morning. Affirm. To affirm is to say that something is true. Using a graph, Malcolm affirmed the success of the company. Astonished. If someone is astonished, they are very surprised or shocked. I was astonished when he pulled the live rabbit out of his hat. Bang. To bang is to hit something to make a noise. The drummer banged on his drum as he marched in the parade. Clan. A clan is a group of relatives or friends. The Lee clan meets every year to celebrate the new year. Dim. When something is dim, it does not give out much light. Working in a dim room is bad for your eyes. Emphasis. Emphasis is special attention or importance. The students put special emphasis on Chapter 4 because it will be on the test. Fable. A fable is a short story that teaches a lesson. In the fable about the tortoise and the hare, the lesson is consistency. Feast. A feast is a large meal for many people. At Thanksgiving, I enjoy a wonderful feast with my family. Glow. To glow is to make a soft light. The small flame glowed softly. Hollow. When something is hollow, it has an empty space inside. Straws are hollow, so liquid can flow through them. Instinct. Instinct is the natural way that people behave without thinking about it. Cats hunt mice because of instinct. Joint. A joint is a place of the body where the bones meet, such as the knee. Two important bones in your leg meet at a joint in your knee. Leak. To leak is to let a liquid or gas pass through a flaw. The pipe leaks from many places. Physician. A physician is a doctor. The physician said I would feel better if I took my medicine. Sacrifice. To sacrifice something valuable is to give it up to get something else. Her parents sacrificed a lot of money in order for her to go to college. Stiff. When something is stiff, it is hard to move. The bird was standing on the tree's stiff branch. Stroke. To stroke is to move a hand over something or someone. She stroked her cheek to see if there was something on it. Tragic. When something is tragic, it is connected with death and suffering. The airplane crashed in a tragic accident. Tune. A tune is a song. The students played a familiar tune for the audience. The Old Man with a Bump. An old man had a large bump on his face. He went to the best physician in town. He gave the old man tragic news. I can't do anything. You'll have to get accustomed to it. One day the old man went into the forest. Suddenly the light became dim. It was going to rain. So he found a hollow tree to sit under. It leaked a little, but there was no other place he could wait. When the rain stopped, his joints felt stiff from sitting. Suddenly, He heard a tune coming from far away. Many fables said monsters lived in the forest. No one could affirm that the stories were true, though. Still, his instincts told him that there was something out there. He walked farther into the forest. Then he saw a fire glowing. He was astonished to see a clan of monsters. They were having a great feast and banging on drums. He stood behind a tree spying on them. Then the leader asked, Who's the best dancer here? Me, the man yelled, coming from behind the tree.
he started to dance. When he was finished, the leader said, I want you to dance every night. In order to make sure you return, I am going to keep something you love. Please don't take my bump, he begged. I can't sacrifice it. It's good luck, he exclaimed, pointing at it for emphasis. The monsters agreed that they had to take his bump. After they did, the man stroked his face to make sure it was gone. He had tricked them. He never went back, and he never had to worry about his bump again. Unit 22. Word List. Accommodate. To accommodate is to have enough room. The meeting room can accommodate nine people. Circus. A circus is a traveling show with animals and people. I like to go to the circus to see the animals do tricks. Coincide. If two things coincide, they happen at the same time. My birthday coincides with Christmas. Commission. To commission someone to do something is to pay them to do it. The artist was commissioned to create a picture. Dose. A dose is a certain amount of medicine that you take at one time. My mother gave me a dose of medicine before I went to bed. Dye. To dye something is to make it a certain color by using a special chemical. Valerie got her hair dyed at the salon yesterday. Extent. The extent of something is how large, important, or serious it is. He ate to such an extent that he became overweight. Gender. Gender is a category that describes being either a boy or a girl. Do you know the gender of her new baby? Headline. A headline is the title of a newspaper story. The headline on the front page was about the economy. Informal. When something is informal, it is not official. They had an informal meeting to talk about their experiences. Inquire. To inquire about something is to ask about it. Dad called to inquire about the price of tickets for the show. Messenger. A messenger is one who carries information from one place to another. The messenger delivered an important document to the office. Peer. To peer at something is to watch it carefully. She peered at people through the window. Portrait. A portrait is a painting or photograph of someone. I saw many religious portraits when I went to the museum. Pose. To pose is to stay in one place without moving. The kids and their dog posed for a picture. Ranch. A ranch is a large farm where animals are kept. My uncle has many horses on his ranch. Steer. To steer something is to control where it goes. He steered the go kart around the track. Stripe. A stripe is a thick line. The flag of the United States has red and white stripes. Tame. When an animal is tame, it is not afraid to be near people. The tame bird rested on his hand. Tempt. To tempt people is to offer them something they want but shouldn't have. I wasn't hungry, but she tempted me with a piece of my favorite cake. The Circus Ben was unhappy. He lived on a ranch near a small town, and he didn't have many friends. Then one day, a messenger came to the ranch. He showed the headline in the town newspaper. The circus was coming to the town. It even coincided with Ben's birthday. Ben was very excited as his father steered the car through the town. The circus couldn't accommodate all the people who wanted to see the show. But Ben had a ticket. Ben peered at the activity around him. He watched people of both genders dance all around. 
They wore funny costumes, and their hair was dyed many different colors. Also, tame tigers with stripes on their fur did tricks. Outside, people could commission an informal portrait. They posed in front of a funny picture while an artist quickly drew them. Ben couldn't believe it. He was happier than he had ever been before. That day, Ben knew what he wanted to do. He loved the circus to such an extent that he wanted to have his own circus when he grew older. Seeing the circus was like a dose of medicine for him. He wasn't unhappy any more. He felt special. He inquired about what he needed to do to have his own circus. He studied hard and learned about business. Ben worked very hard, and one day he had his own circus. It was a great circus. People told him that he could be very rich, but he wasn't tempted by money. He just wanted to make children happy. He knew the circus had changed his life, and he wanted to do the same thing for others. Unit Twenty Three, Word List. Aborigine. An aborigine is a native of Australia before Europeans lived there. The aborigines created beautiful artwork. Ban. To ban something is to not let people do it. Smoking is banned in this building. Cautious. If you are cautious, you are careful in a dangerous situation. Be very cautious as you stack those boxes. Confess. To confess something is to say that you did it. He confessed that he was responsible for choosing the winning story. Cottage. A cottage is a small old house in the countryside. My aunt lives in a pretty cottage in the mountains. Daytime. Daytime is the time of the day when the sky is light. I only allowed my kids to play outside in the daytime. Desperate. If you are desperate, you will try anything to do or change something. I'm desperate to find a new job. Faint. If something fades, it gets quieter or darker. The piece of cloth I found was old and faded. Fierce. If a person or animal is fierce, they are angry or violent. Wolves are fierce animals. Do not disturb them. Gamble. To gamble means to play a game that involves winning or losing money. Many people like to go to casinos to gamble. Lawn. A lawn is an area covered in grass. My dad keeps the lawn in front of our house very neat. Mow. To mow grass is to cut it to make it very short. I mow our lawn every weekend. Outlaw. An outlaw is a criminal who hides from the police. The police passed out posters of the outlaw to all the people. Prospect. A prospect is a possibility that something will happen. He wakes up every morning with the prospect of having a good day. Purse. A purse is a bag where women keep money, makeup, and keys. My sister likes to buy designer purses. Rod. A rod is a thin stick made of wood or metal. I bought a new fishing rod to use while on vacation. Seldom. If something seldom happens, it doesn't happen very often. It seldom rains in southern Arizona. Shave. To shave means to cut the hairs on your face with a sharp tool. My father shaves his face every day because he doesn't want a beard. Terrified. If you are terrified, you are extremely scared. When I saw the ghost, I was absolutely terrified. Wizard. A wizard is a man who can do magic. The wizard made gold fall from the sky. Lazy Hans. 
Hans was lazy. He seldom helped his mother with anything. He didn't cook and he never mowed the lawn. He didn't even shave. He spent the daytime gambling with his mother's money. One day his mother realized that her money was gone from her purse. You're banned from my house, she shouted. Don't come back until you've learned your lesson. Hans went to live in the forest like an outlaw. But it was cold and Hans couldn't find food. He went to a cottage to ask for a meal. An aborigine answered the door. Can I stay here, please? Hans asked. You can stay if you work, the man replied. Hans liked the prospect of food and warmth, so he agreed. The man pointed to a field. Take this rod and plant it over there. I am a wizard, and this magic rod will bring us food. The field was far away. Hans knew it would be hard to walk there, so he just threw the rod behind the cottage and sat by the river. When daylight faded, he returned to the cottage and went to sleep. The next morning, the old man looked very fierce. You didn't take the rod to the field, he shouted. No, confessed Hans, it was too far. Because of you, we have nothing to eat, replied the man. Hans was terrified that the man would punish him, so he ran home. Mama, he cried, I'm desperate to come back. His mother was cautious. Do you promise to work? she asked. Yes, said Hans. I'll never be lazy again. Unit 24. Word list. Baggage. Baggage is the set of bags that people take with them when they travel. I'm taking several pieces of baggage with me on vacation. Bulb. A bulb is the glass part of an electric light. I had to change the light bulb in my bedroom. Bundle. A bundle is a number of things that are tied together. I was shocked when he showed me a bundle of money. Cattle. Cattle are cows and bulls, especially on a farm. The rancher's cattle were eating the grass in the field. Flee. To flee means to run away from trouble or danger. The crowd of men tried to flee from the danger. Graze. To graze means to eat grass. The cows grazed in the field. Greed. Greed is a desire to have more than the things that you need. She ate all the cookies out of her greed. Herd. A herd is a large group of the same type of animals that live together. The herd of cows move slowly across the ranch. Initiate. To initiate something means to start it. You have to turn the switch on to initiate the computer system. Lane. A lane is a small road. The lane passes directly in front of our house. Nerve. Nerve is bravery, or the belief that you can do something. He has the nerve to think that he can actually wrestle with a lion. Optimist. An optimist is somebody who sees the good parts of a situation. Even though he has physical problems, my brother is an optimist. Parade. A parade is a celebration when groups of people walk in the same direction. There were many marching bands in the spring parade. Pave. To pave the ground is to lay material on it to make it easier to walk or drive on. The path was paved with yellow bricks. Phantom. A phantom is a ghost or spirit. A scary phantom appeared from out of the darkness. Portable. Something that is portable is able to be moved or carried easily. Since computers are portable, people can use them anywhere. Poster. A poster is a written announcement that is used to advertise something. I saw a poster about a free concert in the park. Scratch. To scratch is to make small cuts with a claw or fingernail. I used a stick to scratch my back. Symphony. 
A symphony is a long piece of music performed by many musicians. Alex, a violin player, has always dreamt of playing a symphony. Widow. A widow is a woman whose husband has died. The widow had no children and was very lonely. The Bremen Town Musicians. Larry the Cow, Harry the Rooster, and Lester the Duck lived on a widow's farm. They dreamed of playing music in a parade. One day, the widow went to the lawn where her herd of cattle was grazing. I'll eat him tomorrow, she said, pointing to Larry. Larry wanted to flee, but he didn't have the nerve to go by himself. Then his friends Lester and Harry showed him a poster. It's for a parade in Bremen. We'll go with you, and we can perform our symphony there, Lester said. The animals put together a small bundle that held a drum, a flute, and a portable microphone. Then they took their baggage and initiated their long journey. They walked down a paved lane all day. That night, they looked in the window of a house. They saw a group of thieves. They were eating a large dinner and telling stories about their greed and the people they stole from. Lester was an optimist. He said, I think we can scare them away. Soon, the animals came up with a plan. Harry flew inside and knocked over the lamp. What was that? screamed a thief as the bulb broke. They could barely see now. Then Larry stood on two feet, and Lester flew to the top of his head. They looked very big. All three of the animals made scary noises. The thieves tried to hit the animals, but Harry flew over them and scratched them. It's a phantom! yelled one thief. The thieves ran away. The animals ate and rested. The next morning, Larry said, Why go to Bremen? We can stay here and make music. And so they remained there and were quite happy. Unit 25. Word list. Circulate. To circulate something is to spread it quickly. The fan helped to circulate cool air through the room. Consequent. Consequent means happening because of a different situation. Her consequent rash came after she touched the poison ivy. Derive. To derive something from another source means to get it from that thing. Red's nickname was derived from the color of her hair. Drown. To drown is to die from not being able to breathe underwater. He would have drowned if the sailors would not have rescued him. Dynasty. A dynasty is a series of rulers who are all from the same family. The ancient Egyptians had a dynasty that lasted for many years. Fraction. A fraction is a small part of something. Only a fraction of the cake was gone. Frost. Frost is a white layer of ice that forms during very cold weather. In the morning, the trees were all covered with frost. Illusion. An illusion is something that looks real but doesn't actually exist. Some pictures create an illusion for the eyes. Invade. To invade is to take over a place by force. The enemy forces tried to invade our country through the air. Lieutenant. A lieutenant is a rank in the military or police or a person with that rank. The lieutenant was a good leader and his soldiers respected him. Marine. The word marine describes something related to the sea. A healthy ocean is full of marine animals. Merit. The merit of something or someone is their good qualities. The actor received an award for his merits in the movie. Navy. A navy is the part of a country's military that fights at sea. My country is known for our strong navy.
Polar. Polar relates to the cold places on Earth's north and south ends. Only a few people live in the Earth's northern polar region. Ray. A ray is a line of light that comes from a bright object. The sun's warm rays covered the beach. Resign. To resign means to quit a job. After I officially resigned from work, I said goodbye to my boss. Suicide. Suicide is the act of killing oneself. Some people feel so sad that they think suicide is the only answer. Tremble. To tremble is to shake as a result of cold weather. Harry was not used to the cold, so he trembled most of the day. Underlying. When something is underlying, it is a hidden cause of something else. Her underlying fear of flying reduced her traveling options. Via. To travel via something means to travel through or using something. We arrived in the city from the airport via the train. How did Greenland get its name? The nation of Greenland isn't very green. The sun's rays don't shine there for three whole months. As a result, it's covered with snow, ice, and frost. Then how was the name derived? It started with a Viking named Eric the Red. Eric had many merits. However, there was an underlying problem. He got angry easily. People were scared of him. However, he was married to the niece of a very powerful man. So everybody tried to be nice to him. One day, Eric fought with his neighbor and killed him. His consequent punishment was to leave Iceland. Many stories circulated about a land west of Iceland, but only a fraction of the people in Iceland believed them. Still, Eric wanted to find it. Eric sailed toward the land via the Atlantic Ocean. His marine knowledge was good, but the trip was hard. Some of his men drowned. Eric's lieutenant wanted to resign from his position. Others thought about committing suicide. Suddenly, Eric thought he saw something. I don't believe it, said Eric. It must be an illusion. But it was no trick. It was the new land. Eric trembled in the cold polar air. He saw that there was ice everywhere. He realized that the ice could keep enemies out. Not even the best navy could invade the new land. He could start a new dynasty in his name, but how could he convince people to live here? I'll call it Greenland, he said. Eric's plan worked. Within two years, over a thousand people moved to Greenland. In the end, Greenland got its name all because of a trick. Unit twenty-six, word list, alter. To alter something means to make a small change to it. I altered the color of my nails to match my hair. Aside. If someone stands aside, they are on or to one side. The man stood aside and opened the door for me. Autumn. Autumn is the season of the year between summer and winter. I love when the leaves fall in autumn because I can play in them. Blend. To blend is to mix two or more things together so that they become one thing. My wife blended together all of the ingredients to make a delicious stew. Collapse. To collapse is to fall down suddenly. The tree collapsed right in front of our house. Crush. To crush something is to press it together so its shape is destroyed. Selena's new car was crushed when something fell on top of it. Curve. To curve is to move in a line that bends and does not go straight. The road curves to the left and to the right. Disgusting. If something is disgusting, it is very unpleasant. After running all day, Greg's feet had a disgusting odor. Drain. A drain is a pipe that carries away water from a building, such as in a kitchen. 
The water in the sink goes down the drain as you wash your hands. Embrace. To embrace is to hug. When they saw each other again, the happy couple embraced. Envy. To envy someone is to wish that you had something that they have. Sally envied the happy couple. Fireworks. Fireworks are objects that create colored lights when they are lit. The display of fireworks was so beautiful. Flour. Flour is a powder made from plants that is used to make foods like bread. I wanted to bake a pie, but I needed flour. Fuse. A fuse is a string that you light on fireworks to make them explode. The boy lit the fuse on the rocket and waited for it to burst in the sky. Ginger. Ginger is a spice from the root of a plant. It tastes spicy and sweet. Ginger is a common ingredient in many dishes from India. Jealous. If you are jealous, you think someone might take something from you. Miriam was jealous because Sue was paying too much attention to Jim. Paste. A paste is a thick and smooth substance. My son needed some paste for a school project. Receipt. A receipt is a paper that proves that something was received or bought. After looking at my receipt, I realized that I had spent too much money. Wipe. To wipe something is to slide a piece of cloth over it to clean it. She wiped the dust from the windows. Wire. A wire is a thin string made out of metal. The wires were connected to towers that brought electricity to the city. Everyone is special. When I was young, everything that went wrong in my house seemed to be my fault. Once, my brothers tried to make cookies. They blended flour and ginger and made a disgusting paste. Then they tried to wash it down the drain, but it got all over the floor. Later, my brothers said that I did it, and I had to wipe it up. I worried that my parents liked them more than me. One autumn day, I was sure I would make my parents proud. I bought a model rocket. After I put it together, I invited everybody to watch it. I wanted my brothers to envy my technical knowledge. I lit the fuse, but nothing happened. Looks like your fireworks don't work. I hope you kept the receipt so you can return them, my brother said. It's not fireworks, I screamed. They were making fun of me again. I didn't know what went wrong. I hadn't altered anything. I quickly moved the wires on the bottom, hoping that would help. Suddenly, the rocket flew up. We stood aside as it curved through the lawn and ran straight into the mailbox. Then the mailbox collapsed. The rocket was crushed. Embarrassed, I ran inside and hid. A few minutes later, my mom asked, "Are you okay?" I just wanted them to be jealous of me for once. Now I see why you and Dad don't love me as much as them. I said, "That's not true," said my mom. See my fingers; each one is different. You kids are like my fingers; all are different, but I love them all the same. I embraced her. Now I know that my parents love me just as much as my brothers. Unit twenty-seven. Word list. Acknowledge. If you acknowledge something, you accept that it is true or that it exists. The teacher acknowledged that the young student was hungry. Ambassador. An ambassador is a government worker who works in another country. The ambassador from Korea was in charge of the conference. Blonde. If someone is a blonde, they have light-colored hair. My cousin is different from me. She is a blonde with blue eyes. Conquer. To conquer a country means to attack and take control of it. 
The soldiers were trying to conquer the world. Drag. To drag something means to pull it across the ground. The dog was dragging his owner down the street. Exaggerate. To exaggerate is to say that something is bigger or better than it really is. Jimmy wasn't exaggerating about the seriousness of his injury. Heritage. Heritage is the collection of features of a society, such as language and religion. Teepees are part of the heritage of the American Indians of the Plains. Insult. To insult someone is to say things that will hurt their feelings. The girls insulted each other all afternoon. Meanwhile. Meanwhile means until something happens or while something is happening. He wants to be a doctor in the future, but meanwhile he works a regular job. Necklace. A necklace is a piece of jewelry that people wear around their necks. Joyce received a lovely pearl necklace for her wedding anniversary. Noble. A noble is a rich and powerful person. The queen invited a noble from a nearby country to dinner. Precious. When something is precious, it is valuable and important. In a desert, water can be more precious than money. Prejudice. A prejudice is an unfair opinion about someone before you get to know them. The company's rules against gender prejudice must be enforced. Rumor. A rumor is a story that may not be true. Carla was spreading rumors around the office. Sin. A sin is something that is wrong for religious reasons. Taking something that doesn't belong to you is a sin. Spectacle. A spectacle is an amazing sight. Niagara Falls is quite a spectacle. Stack. A stack is a pile of different things. There was a stack of paperwork on his desk to complete. Suspicious. If someone is suspicious of someone else, they do not trust that person. Dad was suspicious of the caller on the line. Tin. Tin is a cheap white metal. Soup is a common food that is often sold in tin cans. Vase. A vase is an attractive container where people keep flowers. The vase was filled with such lovely flowers. Pizarro and the Inca Gold. According to rumors, there's lots of precious gold hidden in the jungles of Peru. It got there when the Spanish conquered parts of South America. The Spanish noble, Francisco Pizarro, arrived in Peru in the 1500s. He found a group of people called the Incas. The Incas believed that their leader, Atahualpa, was both a king and a god. But Pizarro didn't agree. It is a sin for a man to think he is God, he said to Atahualpa. Atahualpa thought Pizarro was insulting his heritage. He thought the blonde Spanish men held prejudices against the Incas. But Atahualpa was a kind man and didn't want to fight the Spaniards. He said, If I give you a room full of gold, will you leave my country in peace? Pizarro was suspicious. He thought Atahualpa was exaggerating. But a few days later, Pizarro returned to the Inca palace with his ambassadors. He saw a room filled with stacks of gold. There were golden necklaces, cups, plates, and vases. It was a great spectacle. He acknowledged that Atahualpa had told the truth. But after seeing the gold, he wanted all of Peru's gold, so he didn't leave the country. The Spanish soldiers stayed in Peru and grabbed all the gold they could find. But the Inca people tricked the Spaniards. They mixed the gold with tin so that it was poor quality. They gave this gold to the Spaniards. Meanwhile, they hid the good gold. They stuffed it into sacks and dragged it deep into the jungle. The Spanish conquerors never found the gold. People think it is still there today.
Unit 28. Word list. Ache. If something aches, it hurts. Mindy's head ached because she bumped it against the wall. Arctic. If something is arctic, it is from far north near the North Pole. It is cold when the arctic winds blow. Canal. A canal is a path for water to travel through. The city of Venice, Italy has many canals. Chemist. A chemist is a scientist who works with chemicals. My mother is a successful chemist who helps invent new products. Chill. A chill is a feeling of cold. The chill from the cold wind made Bill shiver. Congress. Congress is a group of leaders in a government. Congress makes laws for people to follow. Dairy. If something is dairy, it is made from milk. Things like milk and cheese are dairy foods. Descend. To descend is to go downward. I descended the stairs to get out of the building. Grocer. A grocer is a person who sells food. Our grocer, Mr. Smith, is a very kind man. Hesitate. To hesitate is to wait for a short time before doing something. He hesitated for a moment before he decided which choice to make. Institution. An institution is an organization that works to help a city or group of people. Banks are vital institutions that businesses and people use every day. Jog. To jog is to run slowly. He jogs every day so he can be healthier. Merchant. A merchant is a person who sells things. The merchant was selling used cars. Poke. To poke something is to push it with your finger. I poked my finger on a thumbtack. Postpone. To postpone something is to make it happen later than planned. They postponed the meeting until Elena arrived. Splash. When a liquid splashes, it bursts and hits something. Some green paint splashed upon the floor. Stubborn. If people are stubborn, they don't change their minds easily. Both of my parents are stubborn. They never give in to each other. Suburb. A suburb is a small part of a large city. I grew up in the suburbs only a few minutes outside of the city. Tide. The tide is the level of the water in the sea. The tide continued to crawl upon the beach little by little. Tragedy. A tragedy is a very sad event. It was a tragedy when his house was struck by lightning and burned. The Boy Who Saved the Town Marcus lived in a small suburb near the sea. He was a stubborn boy, and he only cared about himself. His father worked as a chemist for an institution and wanted Marcus to get a job there. Instead, the boy delivered milk. Each morning he took dairy products to the grocers. One day, Marcus was jogging down the street with a gallon of milk to give to a merchant. He didn't want to be late. He ran down a path beside a large canal. A wall there kept water from coming into the town during high tide. But Marcus saw a small hole in the wall. Marcus knew that if the wall broke, it would be a tragedy for the town. At first, he hesitated. He had to choose between helping himself and helping the town. There was only one way to save the town. It seemed crazy to him, but it was the only thing he could do. He poked his finger into the hole. This didn't fix the problem forever, but it did postpone the tragedy. His finger ached. He felt the chill of the Arctic water as it splashed him. There was no one else around. He knew he had to wait until the tide descended. It was very difficult, but Marcus stayed there and saved the town.
Once the tide had descended, Marcus told everyone what happened. A group of people went to the wall. They saw the hole and fixed it. Everyone was very happy with Marcus. The local congress even gave him a gift for saving the town. He was a hero. Unit 29. Word list. Bomb. A bomb is an object that explodes and destroys large areas. The bomb will destroy anything that is near. Certificate. A certificate is a document that says that something is true or happened. I was given a certificate after completing the computer course. Circumstance. A circumstance is an event that makes a situation what it is. There were many circumstances behind their success, like hard work. Coffin. A coffin is a box used to bury dead people. When a person passes away, they are usually buried inside of a coffin. Cope. To cope with a difficult or stressful situation means to deal with it. He copes with work stress by exercising three or four times a week. Criticism. Criticism is the act of saying that you don't like or approve of something. She had a lot of criticism about their new plan. Devastate. To devastate something means to completely destroy it. The entire wall was devastated. Frown. To frown is to make an unhappy look with your face. Melissa frowned when she found out that the party had been cancelled. Gaze. To gaze at something means to look at it for a long time. We used a telescope to gaze at the stars for over an hour. Glance. To glance at something means to look at it quickly. She glanced behind her to see if he was looking at her. Grief. Grief is the feeling of deep sadness, usually when a person dies. The grief caused by losing her parents was very difficult for her. Groom. A groom is a man who is going to be married. The groom looked happy as he walked with his new wife. License. A license is an official document that gives one permission to do something. In the United States, you need a driver's license to drive legally. Microscope. A microscope is a device that makes small objects look bigger. Germs cannot be seen without a microscope. Nuclear. When something is nuclear, it relates to the division or joining of atoms. Nuclear power plants provide inexpensive energy to cities. Portray. To portray something means to describe it or show it in a picture. Her picture portrayed the house she grew up in when she was little. Rotate. To rotate something means to turn it around in a circle. An airplane's propellers rotate quickly to help it fly. Souvenir. A souvenir is something you buy to remind you of a place or event. I bought a Russian doll as a souvenir from my trip to Moscow. Submarine. A submarine is a boat that can go underwater for long periods of time. The submarine dove under the sea so the enemy couldn't see it. Trace. To trace something means to follow over it with the eyes or a finger. He traced over the graph with his finger. An interesting life. A man looked through some boxes with his grandson. They were filled with old photographs and objects that portrayed important events from the grandfather's life. He wished to share the circumstances behind each event with his grandson. The grandson, however, thought his grandfather's stories were boring. The grandfather coped with this. He ignored his grandson's criticism. He took a photo from the box. That's the submarine I was on during the war. 
he explained. The grandson gazed at it. The grandfather glanced at the next picture and frowned. It showed a row of coffins. His grandson noticed the grief in his grandfather's face. What is it? the boy inquired. This was after a nuclear bomb was dropped, the grandfather answered. It devastated a city. Next, the grandfather pulled a toy microscope from the box and rotated it in his hand. Where did you get that? the grandson asked. This is a souvenir I bought at the science museum, the grandfather said. Now the boy was really interested. He started to understand that his grandfather was telling him a larger story. It was the story of his grandfather's life. He got another photo. It showed a young bride and groom. They were very happy. A certificate was attached to the photo. The boy couldn't read it, but he traced his finger over paper. What's this from, Grandad? he asked. That's my marriage license from the day I married your grandmother, the grandfather said. Wow, said the boy. Grandad, now I know all about your life. Unit 30 Word List Appliance An appliance is a piece of equipment used for jobs in the home. Many homes have appliances like ovens, toasters, and refrigerators. Basin A basin is a large bowl for washing things. A sink is sometimes called a basin. She filled the basin with water and washed her face. Broom A broom is a brush with a long handle used for cleaning floors. My father usually uses a broom to sweep away dust in the basement. Caterpillar A caterpillar is a small insect that looks like a worm and eats plants. After eating a lot of leaves, caterpillars change into butterflies. Cupboard A cupboard is a piece of furniture that is used to store food or household items. We put all of our dishes and food in the cupboards. Delicate If something or someone is delicate, they are easy to break or harm. You should hold the baby carefully because she's very delicate. Emerge To emerge from something means to come out of it. The hand suddenly emerged from the grave. Handicap A handicap is a condition that limits someone's mental or physical abilities. Joe has a slight handicap, so he uses a walker to get around. Hook A hook is a sharp, curved piece of metal used for catching or holding things. The fish went after the sharp hook. Hop to hop means to jump a short distance. The kangaroo quickly hopped away from danger. Laundry Laundry is clothes that have been or need to be washed. He folded the clean laundry and put the dirty laundry in a basket. Pursue To pursue someone or something is to chase or follow them. The mother pursued her young child down the hill. Reluctant. If someone is reluctant, they do not want to do something. She was reluctant to eat the meager breakfast. Sleeve. Sleeves are the part of a shirt where your arms go. Ryan bought a new shirt with long sleeves to keep his arms warm. Spine. The spine is the bone that runs up and down the middle of the back. Our spine helps us to stand up nice and straight. Stain A stain is a dirty mark that is difficult to clean. He had a red stain on the collar of his shirt. Strip A strip is a long, narrow piece of material or land. He had long strips of film that held images of his trip abroad. Swear to swear means to promise to do something. I will put my hand on the Bible and swear to do my best for the country. Swing To swing something means to move it back and forth or from side to side. He can swing a golf club very powerfully. Utilize 
To utilize something means to use it for a specific purpose. They utilized a pair of scissors to cut the ribbon. The kitten and the caterpillar. Katie the kitten liked to play. One day, Cory the caterpillar emerged from a hole in the wall while Katie was playing in the living room. Hey! Katie yelled. Do you want to play with me? Cory was reluctant. He said, I'd rather not play with you. I have several handicaps. My body is very delicate. Your claws are as sharp as hooks. You might cut me. Plus, I have no bones, not even a spine. You could easily hurt me. I swear that I won't hurt you, Katie said. No, I don't want to, he said again. He hopped from the wall, but Katie pursued him. Cory ran into the kitchen and into the cupboard, but Katie chased closely behind. Katie knocked appliances to the floor. Plates fell into the sink and broke in the basin. Then he ran into a bedroom. Some laundry was on the floor. Cory hid under a shirt, but Katie saw him. She jumped on the shirt. Her paws left stains on the cloth, and her claws ripped the sleeves into strips. However, Cory escaped. He utilized a small crack in the floor to hide, but Katie saw him. Now you are trapped, said Katie. Cory tried to avoid Katie's claws. He moved his body as far into the hole as possible. He didn't know how he'd get out of the hole. Just then, Katie's owner came home. She saw that the house was a mess. She took a broom and swung it at Katie. She chased Katie out of the house. Cory was safe, and Katie was left outside because she didn't listen to the wishes of others.